everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft 1.18. Now we're not going to be going over shaders in this video and I know a lot of people want Optifine for shaders, but we have an in-depth shaders tutorial coming out very, very soon, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for that. Also, be sure to subscribe because we're doing this video the day Optifine comes out within a few hours after Optifine releasing for 1.18, this video is coming out. So if you want the easiest way to be notified on when these new mods and things like that update, like Optifine, like Forge, like Paper, Minecraft server, all sorts of stuff like that, be sure to subscribe because we do videos on those as soon as they come out, usually the exact same day. Nevertheless though, we're going to go over every single step of getting Optifine, and I know it says 117 on the screen here, but 1.18, the video you're watching right now, will be here when you do land on this page, but obviously it can't be there while I'm making this tutorial. But we're going to go over every single step of getting Optifine, from downloading it to installing it, to making sure you get it from the official source. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and most though, we do have our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust them so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. Again, that's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Anyway, let's go ahead and get Optifine. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for Optifine. As I said, the 1.18 video will be here whenever you do land on this page. But once you're here, just go ahead and scroll down. And if you want to go through kind of downloading Optifine at your own pace, you can do so with with this article. Otherwise, click on the green download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. Now, as of the time I'm recording this video, like I said, Optifine came out about an hour ago, it's only available as a preview version. That means there's no, like, version listed here. However, if under Minecraft 1.18 there is a version listed, you're going to go ahead and click mirror on that version. Otherwise, click on Preview Versions. So under Minecraft 1.18, click on Preview Versions at the time I'm recording this video, and then click on the Mirror link. The reason you want to click on the Mirror link, it's going to bypass an app. So you want to always click on the Mirror link on the Optifine download page, and it will take you here, where we can click on the blue Download button under Optifine 1.18, and the download will begin automatically in the bottom left. Now, you do want to keep or save this file depending on your browser, so go ahead and keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll probably need to save it in the center of your screen. What's happened now is an ad has popped up. This is how Optifine basically creates the awesome mod that we use. So props to them for that. No problems there. We've got Optifine downloaded in the bottom left of Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we need to get the Optifine file we downloaded. To do that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then type in download. You have this downloads file folder here. Click on that and in here you will find Optifine. Go ahead and drag this to your desktop, right like so, and now we can get this open. Now, a lot of you probably are having issues. If you've installed Optifine in the past, this might be where you're struggling. And the reason is now Minecraft mods, Minecraft servers, everything has moved to something called Java 17. In the past, it was on Java 8. 1.17 brought it to Java 16. And now 1.18 is on Java 17. Kind of confusing, but all you need to know is you need Java 17 to run Optifine. Now, if you can, right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. And if you open this up, go ahead, tap forward on your arrow keys once or twice because I'm gonna you don't need this next part of the tutorial. But for many of you, you won't have been able to open up Optifine. You'll have gotten some sort of an error. And because of that, we need Java 17. How do you get that? Well, in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. Simple three-step tutorial here, goes through everything. But once you're here, just click on Download Java and then click on Windows. Then you want to come and go to the installer here and click on this link next to the x64 installer. From there, it'll download the installer for Java, go through it like any other program. It's the exact same as any other program, and then you'll be good to go. You should be able to open up Optifine. However, for some of you, you might not have a Java file, right? This file right here might not look like this Java Coffee Cup logo. Instead, it may look like a WinRAR file or something like that. If that's the case, that means you need the jar fix. So what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java 17. So you need to make sure that you download and run this if your Java logo looks kind of weird, or after you've downloaded Java, you can't open Optifine. Nevertheless, once you've done all that, you should find Finally be able to right click on Optifine, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK to open up the Optifine installer. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click on this install button, and it is going to install Optifine. It's that easy. Now, for some of you, you don't play Minecraft without Optifine, and that's perfectly okay. But you might have an issue installing Optifine if you've never played Minecraft 1.18. So all you need to do if you do have an issue at this point is go launch Minecraft 1.18 and then 
Close out of it. You don't even have to load into a world. Just load into the Minecraft 1.18 main menu, close out of it, and then come back here, repeat the installation process up to this point, and you'll be able to install Optifine without problem. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click OK here to close out of Optifine. We are good to go. We can now go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here, and from the Minecraft launcher, we can launch in to Optifine. Now, there's two ways to do this. Most people will have a very simple way to la launch into it, meaning they'll have this Optifine installation already. Just click the little arrow next to the play button and select Optifine here. Then click play and then click play again. Now, I didn't do that because I've installed Optifine in the past. It's not going to open up Optifine. But what if you don't have that Optifine version there? Well, I'm going to do a quick little jump cut so I can close out Optifine and reopen up the Opti Minecraft main menu, or sorry, the Minecraft launcher, and then I'll show you what to do if you don't have an Optifine profile there. So thanks to some movie magic, we are now back in the Minecraft launcher here, and as you can see, that Optifine profile is there. For me, that works. You can click play, you can confirm, and click play again, and you're going to be good to go. However, what if you don't have this Optifine profile? Well, in that case, you want to click on installations, and then you want to click on new installation here. Then you can name this wherever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible Minecraft survival and skyblock server. You absolutely love it. Just, just go try it. Just go try it. If you hate it, you hate it, but most likely you're going to love it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead after you've entered your name there and click on this version drop down box. We then want to find release 1.18 Optifine. Right here it is. You might have to scroll down a ways to find it, but for me, it's right up here at the top. So we go ahead and click on that. I'm then going to change the resolution. That way, when we get in game, it actually looks good. It's like 1080p and, and looks good on video. So we want to make sure that we do that. For me, you don't have to change your resolution though. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But most importantly, it says 1.18 Optifine under it. Go Go ahead, click the green play button, and then this is what I was talking about. You're going to have to confirm that you're playing modded Minecraft. So go ahead and say, yep, I know I'm playing modded Minecraft, and then click the green play button again. Now Minecraft 1.18 is going to open up with Optifine installed. It's that simple and that easy. And if this did help you get Optifine, be sure to like the video and subscribe. It really does help us out. And uh, yeah, like I said, we do these videos as soon as they come out, so you know basically the day within a few hours of Optifine being released when it is available. Nevertheless though, we are now loading into the main menu and I'm going to show you kind of how to get to the Optifine settings and kind of what makes Optifine so cool is you can add shaders and things like that. This video, we're not going to go in depth with shaders, but we do have a link at the either top of your screen as well as at the end of this video and in the description on how to add shaders. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and click on options here, and then we can click on video settings. And here are all of your different Optifine settings. You can see in the bottom left, it does say Optifine, just proving that Optifine is installed. And then obviously you do have your shaders, as well as all of your other stuff, like being able to go into quality settings and performance settings and all that, and change all these more in depth than you can in vanilla Minecraft. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. And come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got incredible grief-protected survival, custom skyblock, my FOV is set to 30 because I was taking beautiful screenshots. And uh, yeah, that's kind of that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.